Hello and welcome to the 2021 Cannabis Awards. Before we get into this evening's award ceremony, um, let me take a second to thank our corporate sponsors. Oh wait, there are none. Um, my name is Mike Wise. I will be your host for this evening. I'm also the organizer of this event. Um, and uh, let me tell you why I organized this. It's actually because in my opinion, there are so many awards out there that don't actually give awards away to the people who deserve it, the people who get the votes. These other awards, they give the awards to whoever they choose. I think it's the person who gives them the most money because it's typically the sponsors of the event. Well, that's not the case with the Cannabis Awards. There is no sponsors. You, the community, pick everyone who's nominated and you guys vote on the winners. So tonight, we're gonna announce those winners. Um, I just wanted to tell everybody this is the second annual awards. Our first one happened last year around the same time. We're coming live to you from Warsaw, Poland at the beautiful Venetia Hotel. As you can see, it's lovely weather we're having today. Um, I hope you guys are having a great 420 weekend. And um, before I hold you guys up any longer, let's get right into it. We'll go into the fourth category. Come on. And wouldn't you know, just like that, the weather changes. But I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm gonna try to announce everything I can before it completely pours and rains down on us. Um, before I get into it today though, I do wanna thank everybody who participated. I wanna thank everyone who voted. We got some awesome nominees that you guys put forward and um, I'm really excited to announce these winners. We actually had over 30 thousand votes this year which i think is really amazing it's tremendous so thank you everybody um, i'm really excited let's just uh, get into it uh, i'll go ahead and announce the categories that we have uh, for awards and then we'll go ahead and announce the winners uh, in that order so the first category we're going to announce tonight is best radio show slash podcast then it will be the veteran free speech award followed by the patient grower award the patient choice award the blazing newcomer award the Outspoken Patient Award, then there's the Best Writer Slash Journalist Award, there's Community Superstar Award, the Educator of the Year Award, the Advocate of the Year Award, and then we're going to end the night with Activist of the Year Award. So I'm super excited, so let's get into it. Alright everybody, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Time to announce our first winner for the Best Radio Show Slash Podcast category. Our first winner is Walking through the pain, let's watch his acceptance video. Hi everyone. So, I've just been contacted that my series, Hashtag Walking Through the Pain, has won Best Radio Show Podcast at the second annual Cannabis Awards. How cool is that? So, I got a couple words to say. First off, I'd like to thank Mike Wise for organizing this event and including my show. Thank you so much, man. To my friends, family, and fans for voting and sharing like crazy, thank you all so much for showing me just how much you really love what I'm creating. And thank you to all the humans with wings for showing me so much love and support for nearly 6,000 miles so far. I must also give recognition that this award doesn't belong to only me. Lee Estes, thank you so much for believing in my journey, taking the initiative and the time to take my YouTube videos and reformat them for the radio. And thank you, Wendy Lovage and WJAE420 for allowing me space on your platform to share my journey. This was totally a team effort to get my series onto the radio. So I've asked that you both be sent awards as well. I must also thank Diane Ritchie, Candace Dyer of COCW Canna Corner, and Chris Martin with hashtag Haters Make Me Famous specifically for your messages of encouragement and support. Thank you guys so much. See, even in a voting contest for a cannabis award, there can be peace and love. There is another way. And it's time we all start uplifting each other. So I encourage you to go check out the Casey Kush Show, Fridays on WJAE420.com, the Wendy Lovett Show with Topher Grace on WJAE420, Apple Podcasts, many other platforms. Go check out Abby Hawk's writings on CannabisContent.net. Candace Dyer's show, the COCW Canna Corner, Diane Ritchie, 
and go watch Chris Martin's hashtag haters make me famous. It's out on Amazon Prime right now, guys. And all the other entries in the second annual Cannabis Awards. Because every single one of us are out here making a difference in the crusade for cannabis freedom, showing the world just what an amazing and healing plant cannabis is. And with that, I say, it's your hit. Don't make me smoke all this weed by myself. Find me, follow me, see where I am. I challenge you to come out and walk one mile with me. And I will show you magic, guys. All right, now go check out all the other entries on a ballot. And stay lifted. Much love, much peace, you all. Congratulations, Seth. Now let's watch the video for our next winner, Haters Make Me Famous. Hi guys, it's Chris and Andy. We wanted to tell you thank you very much for the nomination for the best podcast and thank you for the win. If it wasn't for you and our voters, we wouldn't be able to accept this award and we are very thankful to have it. What do you think? Thank you guys. Thank you for voting for us. We appreciate it. We'll keep the podcast coming. A lot of hard work. We're looking at season three right now. We're going to get going on it. You can find us at hempfulfarms.com ogzonka.com you can check out our nonprofit at zonkamiles.com or how about the podcast at hatersmakemefamous.com is that on love.coms i hope so <laughs> thank you thanks for voting for us guys we appreciate it we hope to see you next year and be back then bye thanks chris and andy now let's watch the video from our third winner in the weeds Hey guys, how you doing? This is Joseph Smith from In The Weeds Prohibition Talk Radio. I just want to take some time out of my day today to say thank you to the people who nominated, supported, and voted for us for this year's 2021 Cannabis Awards with The Mike Wise Show. We are truly honored, we are truly blessed, and we are truly humbled to see our name on the list with so many great people from our cannabis community. It's truly remarkable. A lot of these people are our friends, a lot of these people we've had on our show, and we've shared their amazing stories time and time again. Um, again, without you guys, there's no us. And without my team, there's no me. So I got to thank my team, uh, Vermont Campus Solutions, Timothy Fair, who does our Leaf Law segment every week. Um, we have The Green Nurse, who does Can Talk with us every week, Nurse Sherry Tuckus and Nurse Mark. We also have Justin C. of The Bug Grower, who does our Strain of the Week segment every week. Um, so huge shout out to you guys who contribute to the show being what it is every day, day in and day out. And also everybody who's also been a part of the show over the last three years. Um, we love you. We support you guys. Without you, there's no way we could be sitting here today. Um, so again, truly humbled. We're truly blown away and we're truly flattered to see us a part of all this. So thank you guys again. Huge shout out to Mike Weiss. Huge shout out to the In the Weeds team. And huge shout out to everybody else on this list, guys. You all are rock stars. We're very proud to sit next to you. Um, and I can't wait to see what 2022 brings us this coming year. So guys, stay strong. Let's end the stigmas. Let's end this drug war. Let's keep it up. This is In the Weeds, guys. Check us out every Wednesday, 4.20 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We love you guys. Thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you back here next year. Thanks, Joseph. Now let's watch the final video for our final winner of Best Radio Show slash podcast. It's The Green Nurse. Hey, everyone. My name is Cannabis Nurse Sherry, and I'm here with my partner and co-host, Cannabis Nurse Mark Worcester from The Green Nurse, and we are so thrilled to be receiving this award for our podcast. I'm truly honored and humbled, and I want to thank all of the people who voted for us and all of the guests that have come on our show, and I want to congratulate the other podcast winners. We've been doing this podcast for three and a half years, and this award is for all of you. So the Green Nurse Radio Show podcast started in 2018, and it was a way of educating the public by sharing compelling stories of healing with patients that you would never ever suspect to use cannabis. So actually it was this podcast that brought the miracle of cannabis to my mom. She heard an interview with a nun who came off of fentanyl and this shifted her perspective so much that she's now using cannabis as medicine. So we are really, really excited because the podcast production has continued to evolve and it was truly my coming out party to the world as a medical cannabis patient and a nurse to spread the love of this plant and its healing potential. The podcast has evolved over the years and it's morphed into new multiple shows. Nurse Mark and I are here to decrease stigma around what it means to feel good and be high. Hence the H for hope, 
I for inspiration, G for growth, and H for healing. I'm excited to introduce my co-host, Nurse Mark Worcester, who I share this award with. Hey, thanks, Sherry, and thanks, everybody who voted for us and for this wonderful award. My name is Mark Worcester, a.k.a. Nurse Mark, and I'm telling you, I am living the best life ever. So Sherry and I have come together to change the world through our Green Nurse Media platform. Nurse Mark and the Green Nurse Daily Dose of AFA was birthed shortly after my book, Absolutely Fucking Amazing, Living a Life You Love, was published. Sherry and I partnered last year and we wa- we launched the Daily Dose of AFA, which airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Now, it's the perfect morning show where we provide hugs and nugs of information to inspire you to live a life you love. And as always, we talk about our favorite plant and the ways to nourish your endocannabinoid system. So important, Mark. And the oh. other part podcast that Nurse Mark and the Green Nurse airs every Wednesday night at 8 p.m., Eastern time. And what we're doing is we're illuminating cannabis nurses and health professionals across Mm -hmm. the globe who are incorporating cannabis education into their practice and shining their light on the healing potential of this plan. Mm. Thank you all so much for voting for us. This is a big win for all cannabis podcasts and all cannabis nurses. And we're honored to be recognized in the industry with all of the other media content creators in the cannabis space. Finally, I want to thank my business partner and co-host, Nurse Mark Worcester, for showing up and helping me to take the green nurse to the next level. I love you, Mark. <laughs> love you, Sherry. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Nurse Mark and Nurse Sherry. Now let's go to the next category, the Veteran Free Speech Award. All right. So now we have the Veteran Free Speech Award. Our first winner is OG Eddie Lepp. Let's check out his video. I'm deeply honored to receive this award from the Cannabis Awards Organization uh, about veterans speaking out. Uh, I don't know if I spoke out because I was a veteran or just because I didn't believe in the cannabis laws the way they were. Uh, I've devoted all of my latter part of my life to trying to make this completely legal, safe and affordable for everybody. And I'll continue to do so as long as I live. And again, I thank you for honoring me. And most of all, thank you for remembering the OGs. Because without the OGs, we wouldn't have what we've got. Again, thank you. I'm honored. Thanks, Eddie. Now, let's see our next winner. Amy Pova. Hi. Amy Ralston Pova here. And I just found out that I'm the recipient of the Veterans Free Speech Award that Mike Wise is having and hosts the Cannabis Awards. A uh, big fan of the Mike Wise Show. So thank you, Mike. And I'm grateful and humbled to even be nominated, much less the recipient of a prestigious award. I'm personally going to be at a 420 event this year with about 20 pot prisoners, many of whom we helped bring home through the Can Do Foundation. That's a nonprofit that I started in 2004. I personally am a clemency recipient um, due to President Clinton, who granted my clemency in 2000. And when I got home, I couldn't stop thinking about all the people I, I left behind. So for 20 years, I've been helping other people receive justice through clemency. Quite a few people on this wall who are now home or serving time for pot. And I personally feel we all have a responsibility to take a moment and reflect upon the uh, the pot POWs that are serving time and are suffering for a plant that brings a lot of happiness and wellness to the cannabis community or really our society. And uh, we cannot truly celebrate the liberation of this plant until it's legalized and until every single one of our pot POWs are home. Just like the military doesn't leave any POW on the battlefield, I feel our cannabis prisoners represent exactly that. They are pioneers and they should not be suffering for a substance that brings incredible relief to a lot of people with medical issues and frankly, just 
happiness. And um, so I hope everybody's having a wonderful 420 week. And uh, again, thank you, Mike Wise. I really appreciate you and your work. And I love the cannabis community. Be well. Thanks, Amy. All right, now let's see our final winner of the Veteran Free Speech Award, James Meisner. What's up, everybody? James Meisner here, coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia, far behind the enemy lines of prohibition, where we still do not have legal, safe access to cannabis. Um, but I do want to say thank you. Humbly, I thank each and every one of you who uh, not only nominated me, but selected me to be um, the Veteran Free Speech Award winner um, at the Cannabis Awards. And uh, I, there's so many amazing activists that were nominated, it's really hard for me to feel deserving. So I really wanna thank each and every person that voted, each and every person that shared. Uh, but more importantly, I really wanna thank all of the folks who were also nominated with me in this category uh, that give our uh, veteran brothers and sisters a voice in this fight. It is very important. Um, I also wanna thank each and every other person that was nominated for a veteran or for a uh, cannabis award at the Cannabis Awards show. Um, thank you all for giving a voice to every patient uh, in this fight. Uh, thank you all for being in this fight with me. Um, I wanna give a, a shout out and a thanks to the Cannabis Awards. Thank you to Mike Wise. I love you, brother. Um, I would love to give a shout out to my friend and partner, Ryan Hilberth, my partner over at One Plant. Um, also, uh, shout out to 420 Studios, Digital Sesh, Canaculture, Canaculture Cup, Shout out to Nick Milano of 1PLNT, our business partner. And just remember that 22 veterans killing themselves every day is 22 too many. And we need to wake up world because one life is worth more than any law. We need to end the war on people. We need to end the drug war. And I want to thank you all for being One Plant United. Love you guys. Thank you. Thanks, James. Now let's go on to the next category, the Patient Grower Award. All right, now we have the Patient Grower Award. And the winner is Jody Chapin. I just wanted to thank you so much for this most prestigious award. I became a medical professional with one goal, to help people. If you had asked me at the beginning of my career as a nurse about growing any type of plant, I would have laughed because I could barely grow a tomato. Through educating myself about the cannabis and the endocannabinoid system, I learned so much from this wonderful community about the well-researched, documented beneficial properties of cannabis. Particularly, there is so much more to cannabis than the media portrayal of someone smoking it just to get a high. The many uses of each segment of the cannabis plant can help so many people who have felt misunderstood or unheard by the medical community when searching for something to help bridge the gap of their more traditional therapies. I strongly believe that this natural plant is vital to bridge that gap and to help care for the and advocate for patients. As a cannabis nurse, I'm involved with the individualized care and assistance of patients with ailments ranging from pain management to treatment for seizures and glaucoma. There are thousands of patients that would be better served with a natural alternative to phar pharmaceuticals, which can often have many debilitating side effects. We are able to educate patients about the many benefits of cannabis and spread awareness because of the efforts and support of the entire cannabis community. People like myself who are dedicating their time and skills to help those who need it most gain access to this beneficial plant. Joining the cannabis space unlocked new skills, a new mindset where I'm able to cultivate plants and share what I've learned with those who can benefit from the use of it. My cannabis journey has not been without its many challenges. In fact, I almost gave up altogether the day before I was notified of this award. I hang my head in shame <laughs> as I con continue dealing with a spider mite infestation, uh, which was a cannabis, grower, a cannabis grower's worst nightmare. My new best friend, the ladybug, but with that being said, this honor reaffirmed my commitment to decreasing the stigma around cannabis use one leaf at a time. While I graciously accept this award and am humbled by the recognition, it's the community in the cannabis space that makes this a special and wonderful place to focus my time and attention. 
Thank you all for learning and growing beside me, and I look forward to our continued work to increase awareness and access to cannabis. Thanks, Jody. So now let's go to the next category, the Patient Choice Award. I actually have a very special guest coming on to help me make the announcement for the next award. Let's welcome Remy Russo. Hi guys, I'm Remy Russo, UK music artist, and I'm here to help Mike announce the first winner of the Patient Choice Awards today. Now we've had many, many nominations for this one, but the winner is Matt Lynch. Matt Lynch, my guy, congratulations. Congratulations, Matt, and thank you, Remy Russo, for that awesome intro. Now, let me announce the second winner we have for the Patient Choice Award. It's Wendy Love Edge. Congratulations, Wendy. Let's see your video. Hello, friends. Wow, I am honored and humbled to have won this Patient Choice Award. Thank you so much for voting for me. And thank you to Cannabis Activism Now and the Cannabis Awards. I came to cannabis after I was bulldozed on pharmaceutical drugs and told that I would die from the illness or the treatment they had to give me. I survived, but it was cannabis that saved my life. And my activism started really early in the healing process because I didn't want anyone else to suffer. And I wanted everyone to have the education and information they needed about cannabis to make a good decision for their own health. Cannabis isn't offered as a first line drug for many serious illnesses that it actually helps. And we can't rest until prohibition ends and the medicine is descheduled so that everyone can have access to it and understand its healing properties. I know that there are many activists around the world working really hard on behalf of this cannabis plant. Thank you so much for all of your fine work. Stay elevated and take back your health, America. Thanks, Wendy. Now let's go to the next category, the Blazing Newcomer Award. And the winner is Amanda Nash. Congratulations, Amanda. Let's see your video. Hey everyone, it's Amanda Nash, AKA Amanda Munchies, owner of The Bud Card and host of The Bud Show, here to say thank you to every single person who put the time and energy into voting me for the Blazing Newcomer Award from the Cannabis Awards. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I also wanna give a huge shout out to all of our partnering businesses. Uh, we have over 60 of them across the nation, plus all of our members. There's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And I really wanna also just give a shout out to my favorite nonprofit, which is Zonka Miles. If you don't know about them, go check them out and give them some support. Last but not least, I do wanna give a shout out to some people who have really, really helped me along this journey, which would be my family, my husband, and my mama. So thank you to those people as well. Um, I probably wouldn't be here in this space without you either. Um, and last but not least, thank you again to everyone who has supported thus far. Uh, we still got a long ways to go, so keep supporting. Thank you. Thanks, Amanda. Now let's go to the next category, the Outspoken Patient Award. So we have two winners for this category, and the first one is Carrie Cannon. Congratulations, Carrie. Let's check out your video. Hey, everybody. It's Carrie Cannon coming at you from the beautiful Pacific Northwest, Washington State. I hear I won an award. That's pretty surprising. Um, I appreciate everybody who voted for me. Recognition and appreciation is some positive fuel to help keep your activism fire burning. So thank you very much. Also, I would really like to thank Mike Wise for putting on the Cannabis Awards for making sure the community does have something of our own. Um, and thank you, Mike, for being an awesome, genuine human being. The world needs more people like you. Um, while this little bit of cannabis freedom we're getting is great and wonderful and helping so many people let's not forget really what we're getting is legal lies emphasis on the lies um people are still being persecuted prosecuted over a plant and still being kept in cages for cannabis that's unacceptable um and we can't leave them behind because the leaf will never truly be free until people are no longer persecuted prosecuted and kept incarcerated over cannabis. So I'd like to take this opportunity 
to encourage everyone to please help with the efforts to free Lance Glore. Lance Glore is a man I've never met in person. He is serving a 10-year federal prison sentence for legal medical cannabis right here in Washington State. You can check out my article on Cannabis Activism Now on the blog for more information. And Adela Wisdom and Aaron Wisdom, um, a couple in Missouri who are facing 10 years each in prison for the legally required destruction of wild hemp growing on their property while running for political office. Uh, please, everyone, help us get these charges dropped. There's also, also an article on Cannabis Activism Now about their story, how I got involved, and a call to action, what you can do. And uh, thank you, everybody, again. I appreciate it. Let's really free the leaf. Let's end cannabis prohibition once and for all. Peace. Thanks, Carrie. So the final winner I want to announce for the Outspoken Patient Award is Peggy Sue and Glenn Keeling. Congratulations, guys. Let's check out your video. Good evening. Glenn and Peggy Keeling here. And want to thank everybody who's voted and want to say that it's truly an honor to accept this year's Outspoken Patient Award and also want to thank everybody over at the Cannabis Ward for recognizing so many great people in the industry. This is truly humbling and an honor to accept this award. And in closing, would like to say that, again, no one deserves to go to jail for a plant. And thank you. Thanks, Glenn and Peggy Sue. Now let's go to the next category, the Best Writer Slash Journalist Award. All right, now we're gonna go to the Best Writer Slash Journalist Award. We have two winners for this category tonight, and the first one is Sharon Letts. So let's check out her video. In the age of digital media, the written word has become a lost art. After nearly 10 years of writing about cannabis as medicine for you all, it's a great feeling knowing my work is being acknowledged with your votes and this award. Thanks to Cannabis Activism Now for the opportunity. Thanks to Mike Wise for his commitment to the plant. And a very special thanks to all of my readers for following me and everyone out there who advocates for the plant every day in the face of great persecution. Thank you. Congratulations, Sharon. Now let's go on to the final winner for the Best Writer slash Journalist Award for tonight. And the winner is Everly Taylor. Congratulations, Amberly. Let's check out your video. Thank you, Cannabis Community, for choosing me as the 2021 Best Journalist Award. I'm so excited, y'all. Best Journalist Award. As you can see, I'm on the road. I stay on the road following social injustices so that we can get accurate reporting of what's going on. I want to give a special shout out to all of my supporters who are constantly sharing, sending me um, content to write about. I want to give a special shout out to Skunk Magazine for giving me my very first in print international article in their magazine. And then I absolutely want to give a shout out to Denver Westward for giving me my first ever freelance job. After that, I gotta give a shout out to Weldon Angelos. Weldon Angelos knew that I was a beginning journalist and he took me under his wing and he lets me write about some of the dope cases that he's ad advocating for, such as Rollo, Free Rollo, um, Freelance Glore. I just want to say that our activist, activist community is amazing and I could do nothing that I do without y'all. Uh, Lance Glor has this famous saying that I have been hashtagging for years now. It's one team, one dream. So if you want to find out about any of the activist things that I'm writing about, you can literally go to that hashtag one team, one dream. You also can go to my public Facebook page, Amberly R. Taylor. Um, it has the little blue check mark next to it because I am a journalist. Thanks to y'all recognizing me. For everybody out there who wants to be a journalist, don't stop. I wrote for over 10 years before I was ever recognized for my writing. 
and it's worth it. I am so excited and so honored to be nominated and then awarded for this award. Sometimes activism work doesn't come with trophies. So this is one of the dopest trophies I've ever received. Thank you so much 2021 Cannabis Awards and thank you Freedom Grow, Mission Green, Weldon Angelos, uh, uh, Stacy Thesis, Everybody in the world, Demita Bishop at Fair Fridays, thank y'all all so much for being a part of this dope activism community. Thank y'all again. Have a blessed day. Congratulations, Amberly. Now let's go on to the next category, the Community Superstar Award. And the winner is Jared Holloway. Congratulations. Let's check out his video. My name is Jared Holloway. I was selected for the Community Superstar Award at the Cannabis Award. Activists in Washington State, even though recreational marijuana is technically legal, we are still pushing for home grow. Though, um, by giving uh, the cannabis consumers of Washington a uh, sort of imperfect version of legalization, as imperfect as it may be, it has caused some sort of a pacifying effect uh, in terms of taking the steam out of our sails or however the saying goes. Um, it was difficult to find volunteer signature gatherers back before 502 passed, but I imagine today it would be extremely difficult. I spend a lot of my time making t-shirts that say marijuana is safer than alcohol and other sayings related to cannabis legalization activism, and I mail those t-shirts to low-income cannabis legalization activists around the world for free. People don donate sometimes, although it is not required. Um, you can find at Safer Shirts on a lot of different social media. Hashtag Safer Shirts on a lot of social media. Um... So you'll find that I, you know, I am at Safer Shirts and I upload photos of people wearing uh, Safer Shirts and I label them hashtag Safer Shirts. So I make stencils and mail them out to people. I encourage people to make their own shirts. So I'm, it's always cool to see people making their own shirts, however they do it, with one of my stencils, with a homemade stencil, with a screen printing machine or whatever they got going on in their neck of the woods um, making these shirts because I'm opposed to intellectual property law and especially in activism the idea that a person one activist would get mad at another activist for intellectual property law violation um, it just seems like it would slow down the process of what we really need to do, stop arresting people for cannabis. And there are a lot of states where that is still happening. Um, Idaho comes to mind. It's right next door. They recently passed a law that makes it even more difficult for activists to try to change the law. So, I mean, as we're making big steps forward in some areas and steps backwards in other areas. I want to say thank you to everybody who nominated me and voted for me for the Activist Awards. My name is Jared Alloway. Check out at Safer Shirts, hashtag Safer Shirts, safershirts.org. Thank you. Thanks, Jared. Now let's go on to the next category, the Educator of the Year Award. And the winner is Candice Dyer. Let's check out her video. What's up, everyone? Wow. I'm so honored to be nominated among all these amazing activists. Then to find out that I won the Teacher of the Year, I am speechless. I want to thank each and every one of you who voted. Y'all are awesome. As well as Mike Wise for putting together such an amazing award ceremony. Activists do so much for our community without asking anything in return. To have a chance to be recognized for all of their hard work and sacrifice is simply amazing. Also, I want to thank all the hardworking activists that I work beside daily. I couldn't do this without each and every one of you. 
to make this a three minute video and name you all would be impossible. So y'all know who y'all are and seriously, much love and respect. I also want to thank my husband, my daughter, and my son. They have supported me from the beginning and have made so many sacrifices without ever complaining. They have helped me in every way they could and have been right there beside me through all of it. Much love and respect to all of the nominees because y'all deserve all the recognition and I applaud and love you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks, Candace. Now let's go on to the next category, the Advocate of the Year category. Now we actually have two winners for this one this year. And the first one is Tiffany N. Let's see her video. Hey y'all, it is Tiffany Carwile here. And I am just so humbled and honored and blessed to be uh, have won this nomination for Advocate of the Year. Um, it means a lot to me. This year, more than ever, um, a lot of you, if you follow my my personal story, I'm an advocate from Ohio, Northwest Ohio, who's been challenging my state for the past four to five years to add the uh, to add autism as a qualifying condition for medical cannabis in my state, amongst other areas of advocacy within the cannabis field. But I'm most known for my work with um, autism. But just to receive this award is very humbling, and I feel quite blessed. Thank you um, again to everyone who voted for me. Um, in reality, this award really is less about me and more about the 44,000 children whom I'm advocating for. Congratulations, Tiffany. Now let's go on to the final winner for the Advocate of the Year Award this year. And the winner is Dawn Lee Cardi. Let's check out her video. Hi guys, my name is Dawn Lee Cardi founder of Speak Life, and it is an honor and a pleasure to be recognized amongst my cannabis community, uh, a whole realm of different advocates, activists, uh, community rock stars, veterans advocates, to be nominated and to receive the award of Advocate of the Year means so much to me. Uh, I do this with my eyes closed. I do this with passion. I do this because it helped my daughter, my 13 year old daughter, save her life. It gave her a second chance at life. Uh, a child who battled with frontal lobe epilepsy and has ingested over 17 different pharmaceuticals in her lifetime. Most often she was drug resistant to all medications and then came the plant. Then came the power of the plant. Then came the healing of the plant. And I am so incredibly blessed and thankful that the Cannabis Awards nominated myself. And I also give homage to my daughter. Like she's part of this advocacy movement. She's part of educating uh, pediatrics and moms and, and, and families on the power of the plant. So on behalf of Zoe Cardi and myself, Dawn Lee Cardi, and Speak Life, we thank you for this award. We hope that uh, we have years to come where we don't disappoint and there's always results. Thank you so much, guys, and congratulations to everyone, everyone who has received the award and some realm of this amazing award ceremony. And you too, Mike Wise, you too, for taking time to think of those out there, those grassrooters, uh, those people up in the field, us up on Capitol Hill in Congress's ears. Thank you for recognizing the efforts that it takes to make change. It's not easy. But rewards like this make it all worth it. Congratulations to you all, and thank you. Congratulations, Don. Now, let's move on to the final category for this year's awards. It is the Coveted Activist of the Year Award. So, let's see who it is. The winner is Rick Simpson. Let's check out his video. Hello, everyone. My name is Rick Simpson, and recently I was notified that an organization called Cannabis Activism Now 
have awarded me, have given me the honor of being awarded Cannabis Activist of the Year. It's nice to know that after all these years and the efforts I have put in here, to have this plant recognized again once more, have have been remembered and apparently I've had a very positive effect on, on the cannabis movement. So I would like to thank you all very much for this award. Congratulations, Rick. Well, that concludes the second annual 2021 Cannabis Awards. But before I leave you today, I just wanted to mention the weather turned on me. It got really cold and rainy, so I wasn't able to really talk about the winners and congratulate them each individually like I, I should, you know. Um, so what we are going to do is on CannabisActivismNow.com, we're going to put features of all the winners. So keep an eye out there and you can learn more about the winners if you don't know about them. And um, I just want to say thank you for everybody who nominated somebody, everyone who voted. Um, we had an excellent turnout, like I mentioned before, over 30,000 votes. So it's really amazing. I had a great time hosting this. I had a great time organizing it. And if you didn't get a trophy this year, a medal, don't worry. There's always next year. Maybe I'll get to do this by the end of the year. And as you can see, more than one person won each category. Um, and. I also wanted to mention some people won multiple categories, but um, I created these awards so that as many people can win as possible. So I'm just giving out one to each of the winners this year. Um, so I hope you guys can understand that. And please tune into our website and check out next year. We're going to have an awesome lineup and even more people, even more categories, even more nominations, more for you guys to check out. So thanks again for tuning in, everybody, and we'll see you again next year. I'm out.